tudo bem com vocês? Espero que estejam todos bem. Eu estou muito bem e estou aqui na Embaixada da Argélia, no Brasil. Eu não sei se todos vocês sabem, mas a Argélia tem muitas coisas em comum com o Brasil, especialmente com Brasília. O nosso arquiteto brasileiro, Oscar Niemeyer, tem várias obras na Argélia. Pelo menos quatro importantes universidades foram idealizadas por ele. Eu convido vocês para assistirem agora, em breve, a minha entrevista com o embaixador da Argélia no Brasil, o embaixador Rechid Bladerhan, que vai me falar também sobre vários assuntos importantes que estão em alta em seu país. Nós vamos falar sobre economia, diplomacia, investimento e vários outros assuntos. Eu convido vocês para assistirem aí a entrevista. Mas antes também, eu gostaria que vocês passassem comigo aí pela Embaixada do Japão, onde eu presto condolências, o programa O Mundo Diplomático presta condolências ao fatídico acidente acontecido aí com o um ministro japonês, que também já esteve em Brasília e também esteve no Brasil. Passaremos também pela Embaixada da África do Sul, onde será celebrado o dia de Nelson Mandela, Mandela Day, e eles fizeram uma ação social que também vamos mostrar para vocês. Muito obrigada, fique sempre comigo. A Embaixada do Japão em Brasília abriu espaço para que os amigos do país prestassem condolências através de mensagens deixadas em um livro. O motivo foi o trágico falecimento do ministro Shinzo Abe, que foi chefe de Estado e ocupou o cargo por mais tempo, deixando-o em 2020. A Embaixada da África do Sul em Brasília comemorou, no dia 18 de julho, o dia de Nelson Mandela, Mandela Day. Mandela foi um líder sul-africano que lutou contra o regime racista e segregacionista do Apartheid e se tornou referência mundial na busca por sociedades democráticas e igualitárias. O evento aqui em Brasília foi de uma ação social com doações recolhidas pela Embaixada para o Larzinho Chico Xavier. Thank you, Ambassador, for being here with me today. It's a pleasure to have you here in my program to talk about Argelia. I know that Argelia is a country with a lot of similarities with Brazil about the Niemeyer uh, buildings. And I am sure that you have a lot of things to talk to us about Argelia. So my first question to you is, what are the latest news in your country now? First of all, let me thank you very much, Fabiana, uh, for giving me this opportunity to inform Brazilian viewers, your viewers, about the recent development in Algeria, Algeria, whether it's an institutional or economical field area. So thank you very much. What are the latest news in Algeria? Algeria is celebrating this year its 60th anniversary of independence, which is on July the 5th. The celebration is taking place when we are in the last steps towards building what we call the new Algeria with or in line with the principles of the revolution of November the 1st in 1954. We are trying to build a country with strong institution and sovereign decision. The satisfaction of the Algerian people aspiration began with organization of elections in 2020, which deeply amended the constitution, the Algerian constitution. This new constitution is based on the moralization of the public life 
and also it's based on a balance of powers. And also uh, we are trying to change the practice in the political life, a practice to improve the governance efficiency of Algeria. And this kind of actions are taken to promote a new vision of Algeria and we went through also elections at the legislative level and the local level to improve this governance. And this election were made in a logic of irreproachable integrity. I have also to add that the president of Algeria, in order to promote a new or a more cohesion, internal cohesion, is performing consultation with civil society, organization, local personal, national personalities and political parties, so as to improve the situation and to give more cohesion to the internal front. Of course, taking into account the local constraints and the international constraints. But the aim is to get an internal social cohesion. Thank you for this information, Ambassador. And I, I'm also aware that the current economic situation in your country is good right now because of the prices of hydrocarbon is going higher. What do you tell us about this? If a brief answer is requested, I will tell you yes. But I have also to add that if the renovation of the Algerian institutions I was talking before, about before is very important, we are also convinced that economic and social improvement of the situation of the citizen is very important also. And the president was, since he was candidate for the presidency, was quite aware about this situation and he put this as a major, the improvement of the economy as a major idea in its electoral program. So we are convinced of that. And the Algerian government is aware about the necessity to improve the situation of the citizens. So he performed under the instruction of the president, he elaborated a program with a quite rational method of governance baked by a very clear vision to improve the situation. And I think that we can tell now that we are moving in the right direction. Today, the reforms are giving a very good results. And this is, I will tell you, a testimony of Mario Draghi, the president of the Council of Ministers of Italia, last Monday, who told that Algeria, that the new methods are encouraging Italian investors to go to Algeria because the new methods are reinforcing the confidence of the investors in the business climate in Algeria. And I think this is a very important testimony from Mario Draghi. And of course, what is good for the Italians to invest in Algeria? It seems to me that it's good for all the countries. We remain also convinced that the simplification of administrative and legal procedures in Algeria in terms of encouraging foreign direct investment will have an immediate and significant impact on the economic recovery and of Algeria and the rehabilitation of the credibility of Algeria as a destination for the FDIs, foreign direct investment. I am talking about the encouragement of both domestic and foreign investment, which was made concrete by the recent adoption of investment law. And I would take this opportunity to tell to the Brazilian company that Algeria offer many opportunities in almost all the areas, like uh, hydrocarbons, like green hydrogen, like agrobusiness, like industrial pharmaceutical, 
and all the sectors are open to the investment. I, and I think that the Brazilian company in their willing to internationalize, internationalize their operation should be there with us and help us and get also benefits from this. Sure, and I hope that our Brazilian investors watch this interview and get this good tip from you. I hope to. So, Ambassador, in a world of deep and perpetual changes, does Argelia manage to reconcile its interests with its principles? Yeah. When we talk about the Algerian uh, diplomacy, I will say that our diplomacy has distinguished itself throughout history by the stability of its positions and the performance of its actions, which has given it a leading role in the resolution of crises and conflicts. Algeria is a country that exports peace and stability, but also, and more significantly, a country that has always supported just causes. The diplomacy is inspired by the principles inherited from the Algerian Revolution, defense of national sovereignty, respect of the sovereignty of the other countries, non-interference in the internal affairs of other countries, the respect of international law, and the defense of just causes, and of course promote cooperation, friendly cooperation with every country all over the world. These principles, I must be emphasize on this, are in perfect harmony with the interests of my country, because we never bargained our position and our evaluation on what is going on on the international area. How do you qualify Brazilian and Argelian uh, bilateral relations? Yeah, political relations are good because they are based on mutual respect, consultation and coordination. Of course, cooperation also. The projects carried out by in the economic field by the uh, Brazilian Cooperation Agency in Algeria deserve to be praised. And this is an opportunity to thank this institution and the Brazilian uh, government. Economic relations are very important. Arge Algeria was Brazil's first trading partner in the African uh, continent in 2021 and the third one in the Arab world. I mean, I think that exchanges between Algeria and Brazil reached $3 billion in 2021 and the situation is really promising. We can do more. And I told this ev to everyone here in Brazil. And uh, I have to uh, emphasize, to give an example for this, the last joint venture signed in Algeria a week ago between the Brazilian company The VEG and the private Algerian company Cevital. And of course, the delegation of VEG was received by the Minister of Energy. And there are a very promising uh, opportunities for them to be in Algeria. And I think that they are interested as well as we are. So we are working on this and we hope that we will uh, have more good news in the near future. Thank you, Ambassador. I'm glad to hear from you that we have a lot of things going on, that Argelia has a good plan for investors, for foreign investors, and that economy in the countries is raising. So all the news are good. And I must say myself that all the diplomats that are met from Argelia, they are very friendly people. So I am a friend of your country also. And I wish all the best for our relations here with Brazil. Thank you so much for being here with me again today. Thank you. Thank you, Fabiana.